Of course I'm gonna watch the new Pewds video. Of course I will. Hello? Do you even know who I am? Of course. Away, Pokemane, Alinity, and Ray William Johnson. What do all these people have in common? They're copy striker. That's right. All these people have history of copy striking videos. Now there's nothing inherently wrong about copy striking, okay? But I think the motivation behind these copyright strikes is uh, worth mentioning at least. Recently, James Ski made a video talking about how his channel faced getting sh almost shut down uh, because he got a copyright strike over someone not liking what he said in a video. Now, I personally have a lot of experience with copyright. Why is this video so low quality? Uh, so, okay. And I think it's uh, for right. the best interest of everyone on this site that uh, we talk about this in today's video. And also so I can get more watch time. So do keep watching, guys. Our first Twitch thought is Ray William Johnson. Remember Ray? Ray William Johnson copyright striked a channel called Hoover. Ray William Johnson himself, I'm pretty sure, took down the video. Now, I have no idea why he did. But I checked the claim. He claimed the entire video, the 12 minutes, the entire thing. So the outro was his, the original bits I put in were his, the parts where we just talked were his. No, normally I would file an appeal, obviously. But the thing is, if he's taking on the whole video and then he just looks at the appeal and he f takes it down, that's the copyright strike on my ass. There's no real good parts to this. So the title of the video that was taken down by Ray William Johnson was, interestingly, Ray William Johnson thinks he can sing, and it was basically a video mocking Ray William Johnson's old singing career or his old music, essentially. And it begs the question, would this video have been taken down if it was called Ray William Johnson sings like an angel? Ray William Johnson, underrated musical genius. I don't think so, okay? <laughs> Now the video is back up again, so I assume they resolved this, but I think it's important to note that this didn't just get resolved because Ray William Johnson thought to himself, maybe I shouldn't have taken down that video. I'll remove the claim. No, it got, it, most likely, thanks to a lot of YouTubers raising their voice and helping this channel Thank out, you for the tier three and a lot of public outrage on Twitter, the copyright claim got removed. I find this extremely hypocritical, coming from someone that even went to court to fight for fair use. Ray William Johnson, who made a career essentially from other people's content, reacting to it, adding their own commentary to it, just like Hoover did. Now, to be fair, I appreciate that Ray William Johnson took down the claim. I also can't say for sure what the motivation behind the claim was originally. I can't say for a fact that it was because people were ridiculing him. I think what we'll find today here is a common theme. People just didn't like what was in the video, therefore it was taken down. Uh, you already I know the example of Alinity, but I'll bring it up because I think it's important. I get lost in his this, eyes. This is, is so that just annoying. Me? Stupid. Twitch thoughts. Like they, they win over me, okay? And they're not gonna win over me. Stupid Twitch thoughts. No. S seriously? He just said that? I'm gonna copy strike this guy. God damn it. Just for that word. Gonna copy strike him. Yo! So I didn't even call Alinity a Twitch thought. I just used a word, basically. That was enough for her to think, oh, I'm gonna claim the revenue out of that video. And it, I think this revealed the second problem with the copyright strikes. They sent me $700 last month from copy strike hitting people. Good money. So this revealed the second problem with copyright strike, which is the motivation for monetary gains of striking other people's content. Basically, if you claim a video, you get all that revenue from that video. So Alinity here tried to use the motivation of, he used a bad word against me. So therefore, <laughs> I, all that revenue in that video, that's mine now. Thank you very much. My revenue. Oh, I was in that person's video. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's basically theft. And there's so many companies that partner up with streamers specifically just so they can claim re-uploaded content on YouTube. That's me, dude. Which in a way I can understand. No? Okay. But I also find it extremely ironic because usually streamers commentary is just them sitting there. They're not adding anything to it. That's me right now. Why people bother re-uploading That's these. me right now. And these YouTubers can argue that their work is transformative. Understand each other. The world That's would me. be a better place. That's right. That's all I That's care me. about. That's me. I just want people to be happy. Trust me. That's, That's me watching feuds. 
Smash the like on this video yes. so that we get more views. That would help me out a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit sponsor. I'm in a feuds video. So become a sponsor so you can see that. And uh, that's it for me for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys. Holy fuck. You guys remember when I had 57,000 subscribers? Jesus. All right. I'm famous. I'm on feuds video. <laughs> I did it. I did it. We made it. Okay. We hey Shroud, hit subscribe, god damn it. I got what are you. you doing? I got you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was subscribed on my seven other accounts. I... Wait, I'm not here to call Shroud out. Okay? Sorry. On anything else but him subscribing. Third example, <laughs> exhibit C. Veronica I'm sorry, Wayne. man. I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. I thought I gave her the benefit of the doubt, but uh, basically she striked a channel to the point that it almost got deleted. Why? Why? Because she didn't like what that channel's content was about. That's fucking her. She funny, didn't like dude. How the video was making fun of her, and she didn't like how people watching the video making fun of her was making even more fun of her, essentially. I'm a representation to my subscribers, and I want to show them that it's okay to stand up for yourself so i made a video of me making fun I'm of dying, myself i'm dying bro that was great literally a video of me making fun of myself to show people you know if Where anyone's gonna be allowed to make fun of me it's gonna be me so this reveals another big problem in my opinion which is fairly similar to the pokemon situation exhibit d pokemon she striked this video called kim star versus pokemon twitter fight bullying sniper wolf fanboy now i know about this video because it was pushed everywhere by YouTube. It was basically a Twitter feud between Keemstar and Pokemon. Uh, they uploaded videos to each other. I don't know, because Keemstar is illiterate and for some reason Pokemon decided, yeah, I'll make a video as well. None that, nevertheless, <laughs> someone decided to I put these two this. videos in together and upload it on YouTube. Then the YouTube algorithm thought, oh, this is an interesting video that people want to watch and pushed it everywhere. So basically... I just realized... This was another one of my accounts that I'm on right now. Every time I watch a new video, I'm always on a different account. So. How many times am I going to subscribe to this man? This Twitter drama became an even bigger drama thanks to the YouTube algorithm. So in a way, I can understand why you want to take down this video. Because this selected thing blows up and becomes even bigger thanks to YouTube's system being kind of stupid. At least I can somewhat understand the motivation of trying to take down that video but the problem here and the same problem that goes with every single example that i brought up in this video is that you're just drawing more attention to it it's the strikes and effect every single time the more you try and hide something the more people are going to find out about it that's what brought all these examples to light and i think what bothers me most of all out of all of these is the hip hypocrisy you know, Ray William Johnson went to court for fair use, but strikes another channel's content for uploading his. Okay. All these people that I brought up today have examples of using other people's content for their own content. They could all get copyright striked just the same way they copyright strike other people or claim their videos. I don't know exactly what the percentage is, but I, I would say 90% of content on the internet, or at least on YouTube and Twitch, isn't 100% original content. It's it's commentary, it's reactions, it's reviews, it's gameplay. I mean, Where people tell me all the time, oh, just make original content. Well, guess what? Every single gaming channel is not original content. They're reacting to someone else's video game. It's someone else's content. They don't own the rights to it, just the same way uh, with any other reaction. But it's fair use because it's transformative work because you're adding your commentary to it. Remember when Sean Vanneman decided to give me a DMCA takedown, a copyright strike, because he didn't like what I said in a live stream that had nothing to do with his game? Despite the fact that they give public permission on their website, you're free to use our game. So basically, they can revoke that at any given time. If anyone, if you have permission to use someone's content, they can still give you a copyright strike because basically YouTube doesn't pay attention to any of that. I feel pretty confident that if I took uh, Sean Vanneman to court or his company to fight- Pause the video. I was watching your stream at the doctor's the other day and a lady in a wheelchair come up to me and said, is that Shroud? I said, yes, do you know him? She said to me, he's the reason I'm in this wheelchair because of his big fat cock. Where the fuck I am. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Oh uh, boy. The second I I didn't read it, okay? The second I saw that big message, I was like, okay, this has gotta be good.
So I looked away on purpose just so I could hear the text speech. Thank you. Claim, which is basically what a DMCA takedown would. All right, hold on. While we watch feuds, we got to do something real quick. Resident, Resident Evil Two. Yes. Okay. What's going on here? Gotta make sure I download this. Where the fuck I am? How big is it? Seven gigs. All right. In titles, if I fight against it, that I feel confident that I would win that and wasting him and his company time and money. Well, my time as well, obviously. It's not cheap either. I mean, H3H3 went to court and it cost them what hundreds of thousands of dollars, fifty thousand dollars. I think they held up a check for. But the problem here is that YouTube sways so insanely heavily towards the one making the claim. The way the system works, and I'll explain this for the hundredth time. I'm sorry for always doing it. You can either get a claim or a copyright strike. If the video gets claimed, the video saves up, but they take all the revenue. If you get a copyright strike, the video goes down, but they still take all the revenue. If a video <laughs> gets claimed, you as a creator have the choice to dispute that claim and saying, no, you're wrong for doing this claim. And it's basically solely up to the one making the claim to say, mm, actually, no, I'm right. So you're not just getting money, but you also dictate whether you're right or wrong. The system is so messed up. And if you say no twice to the cl uh, to the claim, it automatically goes to a copyright strike. So basically, as a creator, if you get a claim, you're you're pretty screwed. But if you're the one making the claim, there's basically no repercussions. I mean, you could claim whatever you want. No, oh, I claim shit all go, day, baby. Hey, stop all doing day. that. And all as day. a creator, claim you just all. risk your channel getting shut down. I mean, that's what happened to Jameski now because of him getting a copyright strike. If you get a copyright claim and you say, okay, we'll take this to court then. That's the only way we can settle this. The history of this happening, which is two examples, H3H3 and Ray William Johnson. And they both argued that their content was transformative and fair. Really though? Oh, I don't, I don't personally claim myself. I, I, I have a YouTube manager. If they want, if they feel like something deserves a claim, they claim it. I don't know. I don't do any of that. So I stay out of YouTube, but I'm in YouTube. I'm in YouTube, but I stay out. You know what I mean? It applies under fair use. And guess what? They want making commentary on on videos and adding your uh, reactions and all that to it does apply. under. Can fair I claim use, this video? Hold on. From what we hold on. All right, right here. So we got what? 435 to Five oh three, claim it. Let's do it. Seen so far. <laughs> just, I'm just so kidding. You Please, YouTube guy, don't. Or even claim Stun, don't channel, do it. I was a joke. You run the risk of actually going to court and losing a lot of money. So it's generally a terrible idea to abuse this system, which so many people seem to do without even thinking about the repercussions, because YouTube doesn't really apply it instantly. It is a terrible idea to do this, not just for monetary. Uh, purposes, but also because everyone will hate you. I mean, the only thing really holding the YouTube system together at this point is the public outcry or the public outrage towards people that abuse the system. And if that wasn't the case, I mean, the whole thing would just go rampant. You also just draw more attention to what you're trying to hide. So just stop. Can you just stop abusing copyright? It's not that hard. Just don't take down videos. Even if it shows you in a negative Where way, it's a terrible idea. Stop doing it. It's good Stop money, Pew. Taking down videos. Good money. YouTube needs to add Hello? a takedown request. <laughs> the only way to take down a video right now is through a copyright strike. A takedown request, let's just say, okay, you give the user two to three days to take down the video. And then if they say no at that period, then it goes to a copyright Where strike. The way it works right now is the only way to take down a video is through a copyright strike. I think adding a takedown request would solve a lot of problems. I mean, there's been times where me myself had to do a copyright strike because I, there was a video I just wanted to be shown for a specific time. And I asked people, 
please don't re-upload this video because the only way for me to take it down is to give it a copyright strike and people did it anyway people still re-uploaded the video and I was like, all right, well, I have to give you a copyright strike now. Like, I didn't want to do this, but YouTube has no other way to take down a video. So a takedown request, at least, would be some fair warning in between, at least. Now, my final point, I'm sorry, it's been super long. My final point is, a few years back, Nintendo announced that, basically, to upload Nintendo games on YouTube, you need to be part of their partnership program. Me personally and a lot of other people criticize this idea because it's just a bad idea. You're just going to miss We're out on a games. lot of free marketing, which is basically what this is. People playing games. And lo and behold, now they announce they're shutting the program down. The way the ecosystem on YouTube works or in on the internet in general is that most people benefit from sharing these different things. Game developers know that it's free marketing for people to play their games. They even pay YouTubers to play their games. They even pay to make it seem like it. they are YouTubers playing their game, even though they're just actors. That's how effective this whole sharing thing works. The ecosystem works. People watching and reacting to other people's videos, that helps that creator. Last Christmas, the ecosystem I went of to sharing Santa content to is something that everyone benefits Christmas. from. You Not said anything your heart's desire. I looked up at him and asked for a big fat cock. Much love, Shroud. You're the reason I stream and sending love from Australia. Where the fuck are Thank you for another fifty dollars, bro. Just for promotion, Thank you. but also it makes hundred buckaroos so much more fun, in my opinion. It's what makes memes fun and all these. Good luck with the stream, with homie. Thank references you, references and whatever. It's already so bad with people abusing copyright strikes. Just stop copyright striking videos, okay? Just stop making it worse for literally everyone. Okay, you so. I'm trying to understand the point of this video. Is the point of this video him talking about how bad copyright strikes are or how bad copyright claims are or both? So I feel like he's talking more about strikes rather than claims. I feel like his main point is strikes are bad, claims maybe? I don't know. Both? I I'm not sure. It's to call out YouTube's copyright claim system. Oh yeah, their copyright claim system is pretty fucked up, for sure. Because like, for example, like what I could do, I would never do this, or I would hope I would never do it, because I don't do it. Where the fuck Someone I else does it. But an example would be um, finding a video that's 30 minutes long, and in that, or, we could use this video as an example. This video is 15 minutes long, I go fucking, you know, I go here and like, oh, this is my content Where for 25 seconds. But instead of claiming 25 seconds, I claim fucking 15 minutes. You know? Where the fuck I am. But, yeah, I think, I think that the system is pretty fucking flawed for sure. But, Where that being said, a copyright system still does need to go into effect. Like, it still has to be a thing. Because, like, there's people out there literally... Straight fucking stealing shit, you know. So you need to have some sort of system in play. Where just not a. This is not a, not a very good system. It's kind of flawed, but mailbait. Holy fucking subs, boys.